Country Village and Summit. And I'm also joined by Matt Gulke, who is the VP slash loan officer at Great Midwest Bank. So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, the loan process and lending process and some commonly asked questions that we get. So to start out, Matt, I think a really common question that people have when we first get started or when they get started looking for a new home is how do I figure out how much I can afford to spend on a new home? So can you kind of talk us through how someone figures that out as well as what that process would look like? Yeah, for sure. And that's the obviously the number one question we get. The first thing that we want to go through is before you know, Charlie's going to start working with them, get a good idea on their budget. So that always starts with our pre-approval process. Uh, simple, straightforward process. What we're going to do is we're going to ask for basically income, asset, and credit documentation. We have a number of ways to apply. The easiest is to go through our secure online application. We always um, uh, get, offer a secure way to de deliver the materials to us as well. With everything going on with COVID-19, our lobbies are currently closed. Before that, we obviously have the opportunity to meet in person as well. But right now, we're trying to do everything um, online, through email, and by phone. Um, the biggest part of that is once we get that application, once we have a chance to review the financials, we'll take an, you know, a look and see where things stand. That's when I can then get back to them give them a good idea, not only of what that budget is, but also break it down to what a monthly payment would look like to make sure that it's not only something that we can approve, but I always put it back to them and say, is this a payment you're comfortable with moving forward? Right. That makes I think sense. it's pretty interesting on the, uh, and with when I'm talking to the people coming in here, uh, especially on the new new construction for somebody that's never done this before, doesn't realize there, there's no cost involved. Is there for finding out whether they were pre-qualified? Mm -hmm. Or how does that work between the difference between being pre-qualified and pre-approved? Sure. Yeah. So the first part of your question, uh, pre-approval pre is absolutely free. So you're under no obligation to, to work with us. Hopefully we show you that that we can do a good job and we'd, we'd love to be able to work with you. But no, no cost to do that. We're just going to give you the confidence to move forward, hand them back to you, you know, you guys at Tim O'Brien to be able to move forward. Um, very good question on pre-qualification versus pre-approval because we hear it all the time. Um, I am a large proponent of the pre-approval. So we can do a pre-qualification. Um, the reason I'm not as big a fan of the pre-qualification is that's more of a initial phone call without the review of income, assets, or credit. So that's someone on the phone going, Matt, I make this, I have about this much in the bank, and my credit's really good. Well, that all sounds good. And I can say, based on that information, yeah, we probably could do something. Um, I'm just not a fan of then sending them back to you, Charlie, and then working through meeting after meeting, spending hours. And then when they actually do the pre-approval, we find out, <clears throat> well, the income wasn't exactly where it was, or there were a couple little blemishes on the credit that might affect their ability to, to qualify. So pre-approval is what I always recommend moving forward. Also to touch base on that a little bit, if somebody's got multiple offers on something and somebody's pre-qualified versus pre-approved, that's going to weigh a little bit heavier on which decision we're going to fall with, because if somebody is ready to go, they're ready to go. Yep. You bet. That's very well said. And obviously the down payment is another important aspect of the process that's important to consider. Is there a specific amount or percentage that someone can be prepared for right off the bat or how does that kind of work? So we offer a number of options in that regard. So the, the magic number that everyone always comes to me uh, and says, well, we need 20%, right? And while that is the ultimate goal that we'd love to see 20%, we do have lower down payment options available. Now, if you're talking less than the 20% down, what we're going to do during that pre-approval process is actually submit the file to private mortgage insurance. They're going to get their hands on it, be able to review the income assets and credit, and we might be able to do something less than that 20%. We're just going to have that extra layer, just that extra review from mortgage insurance to give us the okay. Um, as little as 5% has been done, but again, that's going to be based on the individual situation, based on their income, their assets, and their credit history. 
Gotcha. And obviously, Charlie, I'm sure this is a common question you get is like, how does a construction loan work? So this is something that we typically and a lot of other builders use when building. Yeah, it, it's really simple to follow through. I mean, if Mad, you want to touch base on this, I mean, this is your expertise right here. How does a construction loan, uh, loan work? Yeah. So basically what we're doing, you know, through that pre-approval process and being in touch with you is we're trying to get an idea of the total cost. So, you know, simple, you know, math here, just as we're looking at it, let's say it's a hundred thousand dollar lot and a $400,000 construction loan. It's going to be a $500,000 project. And what we're going to do is whatever amount that's being borrowed, we're going to set that aside in an escrow account. We're going to work with a good local title company to hold those funds. And then we're going to rely on them once work is complete and it's been requested by you, the builder, they're going to go out, confirm that that work is done. The borrower is going to get their um, opinion and they're okay that the work has been completed as required. And then once we have lien waivers, confirmation that the work is done, nice thing here, the borrower, when those funds are released, that's the first time that they're going to start paying interest on that. So if they're going to take out a $400,000 loan during the construction period, they don't have a full principal, interest, taxes, mortgage insurance payment. It's going to be a smaller payment early on. And then as those draws occur, that payment's going to slowly increase as more work is done. Um, it's a very, it, it sounds like it might be complicated, but um, a lot of good title companies in the area. We're very familiar with the process with our own escrow department. And then working with a good builder like you, we know kind of that it's going to move along smoothly um, and you're going to get paid once the work is complete. Well, and we've had a really great relationship with Tim O'Brien Homes and Great Midwest Bank. I mean, this is, I mean, out in Lake Country, me personally, I mean, uh, Matt had my mortgage and uh, basically my mom actually worked at that bank that Matt works at. So, I mean, it is a local lending and you, you guys, you guys are local, right? We are. Yeah. So our, our headquarters is in Brookfield, been around since 1935. Um, and all we do is, is residential mortgage lending. So um, we don't get into the commercial, the business, the, the retail space. Um, we know local mortgages. We know our own backyard. Um, so that's what we focus on because we, that's what we do best. Awesome. And then kind of back to that construction loan. So if someone is building and they do have a construction loan during that process, when are they able to get into that typical 30 year fixed rate mortgage? Very popular question right now. <laughs> rates are near their historic lows. So um, what we tell people up front on the construction side, you're going to be when you close on the construction loan early on, um, you're going to be on our portfolio arm product. So that's a great Midwest loan. That's our in-house, basically our money, our decision type loan. Now, once the construction is moving along, it's nearing completion, I'll usually reach out to, to Charlie, someone at Tim O'Brien Homes to figure out when that occupancy date is going to be. And it's usually just before that occupancy date. Um, let me back up, maybe a month or so before, I'll have a, a pretty in-depth conversation with that borrower just to confirm where rates are, has anything changed, similar employer, similar income, give them kind of an idea where fixed rates are. And then it's usually, say, a week or two before the completion of the home, we'll start getting that file and we can start a new application. The biggest part that we want to make sure there's occupancy and all work is done is we're going to send that same appraiser out that we had from the initial construction loan. We're going to go out and they're just going to confirm that all the work has been completed per the plans, the specs, the contract. So they do what's actually called a completion report and they're just gonna verify that that value is still what it was before, it has not decreased. So um, at that point, we can continue on with the refinance. Uh, as I mentioned, volume is high for refinances right now, but in most cases we can get a refinance closed um, you know, within about a 45 to 60 day period. Awesome. Well, Matt, this has all been really great information. Charlie, I don't know. Do you have any other questions that you get a lot that you feel like we should cover today? Yeah, I think just a little bit touching on uh, one question that a lot of people want to understand is, you know, can they stay in their home while they're going through this construction process? Yes. So that goes back to the pre-approval process. That is one of the 
questions that I'm always asking early on because um, a lot of times what will happen is someone will be, uh, maybe it's they've been in their home for a number of years and, well, they don't want to move into an apartment or try to find temporary living. So they're asking, you know, could we stay in this home until our new home is complete? The answer is it depends. So we're going to look at not only their equity position in that current home, but we're also going to look at if, worst case scenario, their current home doesn't sell by the time their new home is complete, could they, quote unquote, afford those two mortgage payments for a short period of time? And I say, quote unquote, just because we're going to look at it and and they're probably going to go, well, we don't want to have to make two mortgage payments and we probably won't have to, but we have to look at it just to make sure that if they needed to, they could. Um, Another part of that is if they do have equity in that current home, we will sometimes be able to use that equity towards down payment on the new property. Can't do it in every scenario, but again, based on the qualification of that borrower, we might be able to you know, use what used to be termed a bridge loan. We say more of just using a home equity or home equity line of credit for that down payment on the new property. So always a possibility and always something we try to give people as an option there for their, their new purchase. Excellent. Aaron, another great job hosting these uh, talks. Matt, why don't you uh, give us your contact information, how anybody could reach you for any questions they have on mortgages? Sure. Uh, GreatMidwestBank.com is always the place to start. A lot of information on construction financing there. Uh, I'm at our Heartland location. We have another loan officer here in Heartland, Don Chavez, uh, that we work closely together, does a great job as well. Um, best number to reach me would be 262-367-7594. Also a mobile number, 262-844-3984. And I encourage you to go to greatmidwestbank.com. Again, a plethora of information there that can help you get started. And if you want to reach out and have a, a conversation, love to do that as well. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. And if you guys have any other questions for us at Tim O'Brien Homes, you can reach out through our website, timobrienhomes.com. Otherwise, feel free to call 262-751-6274, and we can answer any other questions that you guys may have. Thanks for tuning in today, and be sure to watch us next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Take care.